Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds It is raining cats and dogs outside Oh no. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually heading down to Brighton to go and do two appointments. I have the dentist, how exciting. And then I am going to get my nails done and then I'm going out for dinner with a couple of my friends from home. So that'll be a really lovely day. Before I head down, yesterday I received a really gorgeous delivery from Penn Halligans and I thought I would actually unbox this with you because I think I'm going to take one of the fragrances down to Brighton. So this is the Penn Halligans Patreons and Remedies little briefcase. How cute is this parcel? And it is so stunning. I I love when I receive parcels like this because I can actually use these for interior styling. So I can use this as like a really pretty coffee table box and it can have like my matchsticks in there, bits and bobs like that, maybe like some card games. I think that would look really cute actually. So I kind of received some beautiful, beautiful fragrances. This is part of Penhaligon's latest collection of five fragrances inspired by the forgotten formulas of William Penhaligon himself. Love, composure, confidence, energy and bliss. Allow a selection of these scented potions to alter one state of mind, drawing on the power of plants and herbs. Science has never smelled so good. I am a huge fan of Panhaligans. I think if you're going to treat yourself or loved ones, it is a brand I would really recommend. The, the scent goes such a long way and lasts so wonderfully on your skin it is incredible let's start with the red one so this is liquid love this is with ginger and rose the bottle is really pretty and christmassy oh it's really lovely but definitely quite um it's a really gorgeous scent i do love the mixture of the like old-fashioned rose with the ginger i think that is really lovely i really like the combination of ginger and rose i don't think i've actually put that together before that's really gorgeous and then we have a kiss of bliss with musk and lucky clover oh i feel like this might be a bit of me Oh, that's lovely actually quite sweet i'm surprised at how sweet that is maybe it's the clover um but this is a beautiful pink bottle beautiful and then we have this is the oh the audacity with vanilla and incense boldness in a bottle oh it's like smoky oh my god that's beautiful i think i like this one it's very it reminds me of the um if you've smelled that louis vuitton unisex one which is just madness i don't know which one i like i think i like the mixture you know what i actually think this one's my favorite i like an everyday one this is like an evening one it's so beautiful and very wintry i feel like i like the mixture i'm gonna spray a bit of that one it's very smoky so if you're not into smoky fragrances then maybe it's not the one for you, but very pretty. But I think I'm gonna take a Kiss of Bliss, which is musk and lucky clover. Thank you very much to Penn Halligans for very kindly sending that over. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna take this one with me. This is the Kiss of Bliss, a musk, musk and lucky clover. That sounds really pretty. I'm gonna take that with me. I'll also leave all the fragrances down below so you can check them out. I think Penn Halligans might have some Christmas gift sets as well. One of my absolute favorite ones is the Halfiti one. If you are unsure of the new fragrances, my go-to is Halfiti. It's just so beautiful and i always get so many compliments on it oh i also wanted to show you my little my tablets i'll actually talk to you about these maybe when i'm back from brighton but i have my js health travel case which has a couple of these supplements in there some um cod liver oil and some hair and energy tablets so i'm all packed up now i have got my july suitcase it's super incredible it's also got um really nice um initials on the back and it goes very lovely with my louis vuitton tote bag and yeah i really love this suitcase i think it's such an incredible quality and the wheels are spectacular i know that's a weird thing to say but for a girl who has lugged around suitcases for her whole entire career of being a content creator will make such 
a difference. So yeah, I would really recommend July. Outfit of the day is just a quite easy casual one because I'm wearing this today and tonight. So I've just got my Reformation top on, my Me and M black jacket paired with a pair of blue jeans. Then I've got my Celine belt on and then my Samba trainers because I'm going to be walking slash running everywhere. Hair again done with the GHD rise and it's feeling really lovely. I'm loving this hairstyle. Anyway, I'm ready, so let's head off to Brighton. So it is Saturday now and I didn't film anything yesterday and I know I should have but I was in a really down mood I wasn't really sure what was wrong with me and my little head like I just felt really anxious So I just kind of decided to just be in the moment be present and I actually had quite a nice day I think I filmed a couple of clips, but I had a little lunch on my own, which was really lovely. I went to Joe and the Juice and had a spicy tuna because there's, the thing was as well, there are so many restaurants in Brighton which are just incredible. And I just really, I think I was a little bit overwhelmed and all I wanted was just to sit in Joe and the Juice and have a spicy tuna sandwich. And it was just what I needed in that moment. And it was just, oh, it's just so good. If you haven't had it, you have to try it. And then I went and did a bit of shopping on my own. So I went into Cos and I tried on some different pieces. I found some really gorgeous coats i found this wool navy coat which mum and i saw previously and i went to try it on again and i am still thinking about it because i just love the scarf detail i'm really loving navy at the moment and then there was this really nice cropped version without the scarf which was lovely i tried on a pair of jeans and i tried on this gorgeous cashmere brown layer top i actually purchased that because i thought that was beautiful and then i went and got my nails done with my a lovely friend Beth. So I went for this gorgeous tortoise colour. It is absolutely stunning. I went for this gorgeous like tortoise shell black, really deep dark colour and they're really really cool. But yeah I'm just loving dark colours at the moment and short nails are just lovely. And then she actually kindly, I actually have just done my hair and I've done it with this really gorgeous silk scrunchie that Beth gave me. Then I met up with the girls, um, India, Chloe and Beth and we actually went to a really lovely restaurant called Tuto which is in Brighton. So if you are on the hunt for a nice restaurant then I would really recommend there. It's an Italian, they are the best. It's like chef and plates which is really lovely we had a couple of dishes and they're really good with gluten free as well so i'd really recommend and it was just a really nice to catch up and have a little chin wag and have a little girls night and then i came home to my mum and dad's and i've just been chilling this morning with my dad and it's been just lovely and slow which i've been wanting for a while i am now just waiting for my darling friend jess to arrive as we're gonna have a really cute day in brighton but we're just gonna have the cutest little day and the sun is shining which is just gorgeous but it is cold i must admit it has dropped but i'm just wearing a all black look so i've just got this top on from and other stories old river island shorts and then i've got my hair in this little sleek bun and then i'm just putting on a trench and some boots but yeah i'm excited for a lovely day in brighton take the girl around all the cute shops and coffee shops and pick up some baby bits go to a photo booth very excited so i'll take you along today she's here Hi. <laughs> we're on a girl's trip to brighton <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if there's like love i'm really excited i know first port of call get to brighton just keep going straight <laughs> and then we're gonna start with photo booths first because then it's done because yeah. i feel like it's gonna that's gonna cause a lot of energy mm. so i need Maybe to do that do you want to do coffee first or lunch first maybe lunch let's do lunch otherwise we'll get jittery okay i'll figure out let's plan some places we can go we'll do maybe we do lunch first photo booth shops no photo booth lunch photo booth lunch coffee coffee photo booth lunch shops coffee shops food food food, food. snacks we'll get some like goodies for tonight stunning <laughs> go get it <laughs> My thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds I went for a sweet chili chicken Jessica went for a poison duck, nice? Mm. That's delicious 
Mm. Vegan and gluten free. My God. <gasps> Vegan spiced custard. I wish. Oh, I wish I could eat one. I'd go for, if I could, I'd get the vegan crumble. She looks phenomenal. Or the vegan cinnamon bun. We're in the baby shop. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at the decorations. Oh, oh the little key rings. So we're having a baby girl. Oh my god, no, stop. That's you get a pink one. Oh, look at it. Hello! Look at this little sunbed. These are precious. These are good little presents. I like that because it's brightened. Yeah. That's really cute. We're in the photo booth. Okay, I'll make a two new thing or two. So, we've just won the lottery. It's a boy, not a girl. Look at that. 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 We've spotted someone. I wonder when, how you been. The results are cute. Oh, you're gonna have to eat it, honey. <laughs> Recommendations of the donut? Hmm. 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 Done a little. Oh, a bagel. Ooh. Gonna go and get a coffee now. We're gonna try. There's two places that people recommend: Dandy and Loam. We're gonna try Loam because Loam looked pretty. <laughs> it looked cute and it was pink. But this one needs coffee. She needs coffee. Hello. <laughs> this is stunning. Pregnant lady, have our coffee. <laughs> You're pregnant without telling me you're pregnant. We've got cherry juice, fizzy sweets, almonds, stickers, gherkins. We're live. It's nice. Not your cup of tea? No, I like that. <laughs> so this company is from Copenhagen. Cute. A few little rings. <laughs> Just found some little stress balls. <laughs> got this one haven't you yeah I think I've been watching Sophia and Chinsia's vlogs and they love things like this I love these they're hilarious just give me a minute it's just me and the mighty oak that's so rude have you seen Monster Zink you know it's like I was on TV <laughs> yeah, was... did you enjoy your experience I did it was so fun we've had a few hours there we've been chilling it's got cold yeah but it's nice though we're, but we're gonna head home we've got snacks we've got pickles got pickles and we're gonna head home have a cup of tea yep. and then my mom come home and we'll just make dinners and chill let's go home let's go home let's go home. I don't wanna put up a fight I don't wanna trouble you babe. but I gotta say I don't wanna waste no more morning 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 from me and my pregnant friend <laughs> we had a very wholesome little evening last night we had oh my god i think i filmed actually some clips of the dinner my dad he's a chef he's so good. chef 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 and he made this oh that chicken did you like that chicken mm. it was so juicy i don't know how he does it but it was like this marinated chicken with rice and vegetables and oh, and i was just drinking i was drinking for two <laughs> Three. This one. Drinking for me and her. Yeah. I was having champagne, I was having wine, it was lovely. But we are now heading, well we've just parked up and we are on Hove Seafront. We're going to go for breakfast at six and then head on our merry way to back to London. And I've been able to use and abuse that my friend has a car <laughs> and I've taken all my coats and my Christmas tree with me. And you can't stop me. <laughs> Let's go get coffee. This girl needs coffee. That is a good amount of bacon. Oh. Wow. I am back home now. I've just came back from Waitrose as I got some bits and bobs for the week and for dinner tonight. I'm making a roast dinner. Quite a light one actually. I'm not feeling that hungry so I've got broccoli, carrots, peas and chicken. The chicken is cooking away. Oh steamy steamy. Um, but I've just made the house all nice and cosy and it just feels so so snuggly in here. 
I picked up some cute little pumpkins for Halloween and autumn season and I just think that just looks so cute. It just looks so cozy in here. And I've got the candles lit. I've got everything ready to go, YouTube on. I've also kind of had a little bit of a change up. I've just got some, I've got bits and bobs like all organized, like some fresh pears. Moved some bits around so it looks very cute. This is sage. But everything is looking very cozy. I've just got this all out and I've actually put my old dried red hydrangeas um, in the hallway because I think that looks really pretty with this picture frame here. Actually, I thought I'd quickly show you what these bits and bobs are. So these are just dried hydrangeas. I think I got these two from an antique. This mirror is from Dunelm. This little plate here is from um, Saru. And this, I'm not too sure, I think again, an antique, but I've actually used it as a diffuser. So I've put my Joe Loves diffuser sticks in and um, I think that looks quite more minimal and I quite like that. And I've got my Pookie portable lamp. Got a couple of diptyque fragrances because I quite like how they look. And yeah, it looks very, very cute here. Oh, it just literally looks so snug and cozy in here. It just looks delightful. I'm also wanting to get like a humongous picture here. And I think that would look amazing in here. So yeah, so whilst I was home, I took the liberty of Jess having a car, as Jess lives near me. And I thought I would make the opportunity to actually get some of my Christmas decorations and my winter coats. <laughs> And I've just put two of my Christmas mugs in my cupboard. And I'm so excited. Honestly, I've completely, I didn't completely forgot, but I forgot that I had these ready to go. And honestly, this sounds so sad, but literally around Christmas time, these are the only mugs I use. So I got this one from the Cotswolds. I got it from Gazilla Graham. And I got this one from a PR company. And it was a cho I think it was a hot chocolate company. And this came along with it. And then it had my name on it as well, which is very very cute anyway i had the loveliest loveliest weekend with my one of my closest friends and my family and then i saw some of my girls on friday it's just been such a lovely wholesome weekend i'm just making myself a little roast dinner and then i think i'm gonna end this weekend with a lovely bath i am so ready for a bath it has dropped so much it's actually quite scary how much it has dropped i wasn't quite ready for that but very excited for coziness. So I'm gonna carry on making my dinner, watch some TV, and then I'm gonna run a lovely bath. Hey, without you. Coming to you very blonde. <laughs> um, was planning on going this blonde, however, I am very much here for it. I'm so much more happier with it than I was the first time round. So I think the last time I told you about my hair, I literally just went and got it done at Samantha Cuswick, who I truly am obsessed with, and it is my fault. Um, basically, I wanted to go brown. It was a bit too cool tone. My lovely hairdresser David basically has just put it back to where it was he was like we're just gonna we're just gonna go back and I was like okay <laughs> that's fine um but I am very much ha I'm very very happy f with it it is so fresh and gorgeous and I just love it it feels a bit more me than what I previously had the previous color was a bit too purple tone and just wasn't what I wanted so we've gone for this and I do love it I just think it's just very me I love the length I love the color at the front but maybe next time I'll just go a bit more darker at the back here and just a little bit softer and unlike blonder at the front however very very happy and i'm loving it and i feel a little bit more me coming to you on a tuesday so i just got back and i'm actually literally heading out the door again as i'm actually going for a hygienist treatment to go and get my teeth cleaned if you didn't know i have a composite bonding <laughs> on the top i think i had 10 done a couple of years ago and it's just really important to obviously with normal teeth to just keep an eye on your teeth go for regular checkups go to a hygienist maybe once once a year or every other year so that's what i'm doing today so i've got two appointments coming up one is today with a hygienist and then the second one is in the following week with samira who actually did my composite bonding just to check up on my composite and see how they're doing because it's really important to keep an eye 
on your composite board. So that is the plan for today. It is very cold outside, very, very cold. So the layers are on. I've got this really gorgeous cos top that I bought from Cos and Brighton um, over the weekend and it's just so snuggly. And I adore that it's got these sleeves. I'll leave it down below because it's a really good layer and piece. On my way back from the hairdressers, I did pop into Uniqlo to collect some more long sleeve tops. So I thought I'd actually quickly go through them with you as I think they're gonna be quite essential. I think I will leave them down below if I can find them. The first thing I picked up was some pocket socks because the pocket socks that I have for my trainers are really thick so you can see them. You can see them pop out of my trainers. I really didn't like that so I picked up a set of three and they came in, well that kind of looks navy, but black, beige, white. So hopefully you won't see them in my trainers. First time I've actually shopped in Uniqlo as well and I actually really enjoyed it. There was so many amazing basics. The next one I picked out, I picked up two heat tech tops and this is a heat tech crew neck t-shirt and this is a long sleeve. And I got it in this really gorgeous, like, marley grey. I think that's a really pretty colour. I then picked it up in this really gorgeous grey colour because I have ordered a lovely grey jacket, which, which I envisioned a grey top underneath. Also as well, I feel like if you're going to invest into basics, I think grey is an essential because you can see it going with some really nice blue jeans or some grey tailored trousers or like I said, a tailored jack grey jacket. I think it's just a lovely piece and also as well it's heat tech. So I'm really excited because it's going to keep me extra warm. And then I just picked up a basic white tee because, like I said, in my autumnal hauls, I try and, like, collect a couple of basic t-shirts here and there. And I wanted to try a Uniqlo one because everyone raves about their basics. So I thought I'd give it a go. So let's do a quick try on haul before I need to head out the door. Okay, first up is the crew neck t-shirt. I love the fit of it. I think that's really flattering. I got an extra small and that's just what I wanted. Very handy, love the fit of it. It's not too tight, but it's still very flattering. Love the neckline and the sleeves. Then this is the gray top. And I think I'm gonna keep everything because this is lovely. And like I said, it's warm as well. It's like a heat tech. I really like the color of this. I haven't actually tried a gray t-shirt on in ages, but I really like it. I think it looks really nice. And it actually looks really nice with some white tailored trousers. These are from Morella. Um, but also as well, this is thermal, so this is gonna be super warm, which is lovely as well. But yeah, really like the fit of this. I'm probably gonna get these actually in plain black and white as well, because these are so comfortable. I'd actually like to try the Skims t-shirts. And also as well, um, one of the girls I follow on Instagram, she actually shared some dupes from Amazon, so I think I might order those and compare. However, this is lovely. This is like a really nice slinky, thinner version of the the grey one, but still like a heat tech style and it is lovely. I absolutely love this. This is so comfortable and I really like the colour. It's kind of like a warm marley grey, like it's quite a nice beige. I wonder what it'll look like. Yeah. That looks really lovely. Um, so yeah, really happy with all those pieces. I think I'm actually going to head back to Uniqlo and collect these in just basic black and white because these are just really nice. So yes, I'll leave them all down below. Just got them all in an extra small. Um, I'm gonna head out the door to go to the dentist now. But what I'm wearing is my white Morella trousers. This coat is from Mango last year. I'll try and find a similar. I am then going to pair it with my Samba trainers. And I'm going to also chuck on my Pauline Paris bag. And then match it with some black sunglasses from YSL. I'm going to head to the dentist now to go and get like a lovely clean of my teeth. Oh, I cannot wait. More time trying to shake the feelings inside. Finally got me. I am back. The oven is on, if you can hear it. I'm still in my coat. It's so cold. But I am actually about to head out the door as I need to go and drop a parcel off. But whilst I do that, I thought I would prep some butternut squash to be slowly roasting um, whilst I go and do this parcel run. Doesn't feel empty hearts. Tip 
Okay, so I am back and the butternut squash is ready. So I've got my sauce pan out actually. I'm gonna put that on maybe six to warm up. I've got a knob of ginger and I've got chili in there. I'm gonna pour some coconut in there as well. And I've also got my nutritional yeast. It's a B12 supplement, but it's got quite a nice cheesy taste to it so i'm gonna do half of the butternut squash in here with that and then do another load um just because we've got only a little small blender drinking wishful thinking what if you were is my pumpkin soup. Oh, very excited for this. Well, butternut squash. But if you do have leftover pumpkins from Halloween, then just make them into soups. They are just, honestly, pumpkin is so good for your stomach. Some really good antioxidant. And yeah, I will leave the recipe down below, but I've just topped it up with some salt and pepper, some pine nuts and some chili flakes. And then I have some leftovers for tomorrow's lunch and maybe some dinner. I'm going to tuck into this, carry on editing and watch some YouTube. So yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Oh,